How you doing ladies and gentlemen, my name is Franco and holy shit, Franco's making a video. It's been like a fucking year, it feels like. Long story short, I just didn't have the motivation or the time to really make videos and edit them. I recently got a new job and that's been taking a lot of my time, so didn't have any time to actually sit down and, and record and edit, but I am back and what better game to start with than Resident Evil Village. So, I played the demo for this a bit ago, like it took me, it feels like weeks to actually play the fucking demo because, oh it's timed, oh that's fucking stupid. Okay, we're gonna start with standard, and that's the only option we get to choose, okay. I'm playing this on the base PS4, by the way. I don't have a PS5 because they're impossible to get and I don't have money to spend on it. Long Village of Shadows. A young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Bat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was mm -hmm. trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. <laughs> Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides... Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't <laughs> understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Okay. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Okay. No. We'll finish dinner. Mother doesn't want to remember. I can't blame her. Look around. No. Nothing. I'll put her down. I said, "Oh, look, a green herb that I can't eat." Nailed it. The fuck do I go? <laughs> you know, even though this is on a uh, technically now last gen PS4, it still looks really fucking good. Examine. Oh. 
three years ago. I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. I'm going to be saying ow oh, a lot because I think it's like nice that Ethan and Mia get the happy ending. Although they kind of fucking spoil that in the trailers. Where in the name of the Holy Ghost and talk show host do I fucking go? Oh. Oh, was there another door over here? Oops. I like to splore, so I'm going to splore. That's okay. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. No. Just looking down this hall gives me fucking like PT vibes. Is it? Yeah, this is it. Look at this little shit in its fucking giant block. I guess you go over here. There you go. There you go, sweetheart. A nice rest you for you. I'll be right downstairs. No. Oh. Don't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. I'm just gonna close this. Okay, have a good sleep for like th three hours because <laughs> fucking babies that young do not stay asleep. I only know that because I'm an uncle now, so a lot has happened since I last recorded. Can, can I not? Oh, okay. <laughs> Is she okay? Sleeping like a uh, well, like a baby. Mm, hmm. That smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. No. It's Chuba de la Gum. It's a local. You just fucking hit me with like a spoon wow. or a ladle that you just dipped in hot liquid. Local wine too. Hmm. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. Well, why'd you buy like six bottles then? You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training. It all happened so fast, you know. I'm sorry. We're all together. You, me, Rose. <coughs> now, everything's gonna Seriously, be. Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? Oh, okay, yeah, we're just gonna. So long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so. <sighs> huh? Mia, get down! Jesus! Mia. Well, that just seemed unnecessary. Now, not the wine. Mia. Oh, God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. Did your mouth not move? What? Why? Redfield, why are you such an asshole, though? Go move. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. I'm sorry? Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Chris, yes. Okay, well, I fucking thanks for breaking my teeth. Kinda like the last game. Get dragged away by fucking assholes. Although it was revealed Jack wasn't always an asshole, so that's slightly different, I suppose. Blank calling. Hey Doc. Hmm? No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. I hardly talk about anything else. I 
keep telling you it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's going to be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan. You matter. <laughs> Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Well, well, so much for that whole happy family thing that I thought was going on. Hmm. My little angel. Now. Did, did these fuckers just leave me out in the cold? I'm getting a very outlaws feel to this. Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off the earth. Fuck. Yeah, well, everyone else is dead, so fuck off. Also, if you wonder what I mean by outlaws, it was a first person shooter back in the 90s. Where you play as someone whose <clears throat> wife was killed and daughter was kidnapped. It's useless. Yeah, well, that's what I say about myself when I look in the mirror. It says, Mission objectives. Eliminate target, recover body. I'm sorry? Secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winters... Winterizes. To site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Yeah, that worked. Gonna give you a slight suggestion. Next time, get officers no who know how to fucking drive. Uh, going this way. I fucking slap myself in the face with branches. It's just like the camera in the Evil Dead. I genuinely don't know where I'm going. I'm intrigued because I know Chris Redfield is supposed to be the hero. I know he showed up at the end of Resident Evil 7. So I want to know why he's become such a douche. Why you gotta be so douche? Ow. Also, no tutorial telling me how to crouch. That's, uh... Interesting design choice, I guess. The fuck was that? Okay, we're just gonna keep on going. Why is it always dead birds? Are people getting revenge for when birds shit on their cars or something? Oh, that's a lot of revenge for shitting on cars. Jesus! Sorry! I really can't see shit. Also, where the flying fuck were these people driving? Also, did Ethan mention military training? So, why was he given military training? Were they going to call on him again if, like, shit needed to get done? Kind of takes away the whole everyman vibe he had going for him. Hmm. Oh, never mind. I thought you could... Uh, hey. Yeah, sure, let's, let's just... Right in. And 
anything good? Hello? Open the thing. Okay, good. Didn't know they were going to do that animation every time. Conserve water. I just walk into someone's home. Sorry, I'm just going to I'm going to go through your stuff and then Uh nice outfits you got in here, man. I I'm, I'm going to just leave those. More blood. Oh boy, down in the basement. Yeah, the fucking what what could possibly go wrong down here? I'd feel better if I had, like, a gun, some magical healing herbs. Hmm. Yep. Jesus? Rude. What the fuck? Confusion, IB. Is this gonna be like Resident Evil 4 where someone's hiding in here? Nope, just a rat. Nothing. Was this, like, just an optional thing? So, anyway. Well, yes, Ethan, that is blood. It is the red stuff within the body. What did all this? God damn it, Hulk. This is not Marvel vs. Capcom. And sunlight. How long could we possibly have been in there? I think we spent maybe like, what, five minutes? Was it that close to sunlight? Fucking space is warped and time is bendable. Little, uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. Reference for him. Where the hell am I? Ooh, that's pretty. Uh, how? How do I do? I just jump. Okay, seems like a bad idea, but sure. Wee! Ow! Glass. Um, well, that is the sad. Maybe hey, what's up? Out. Easy to pick lock. Do I have lock picks? Can I find lock picks? Someone was very hungry. Fucking eating bricks in the wall and shit. Do I seriously not have? What do I have on me? 
a whole lot of fucking nothing. What is? Oh, right, there's currency. I thought I had a coin just up in my inventory. I had no clue where I got it from. Uh -huh. There's actually no items around here. Hey, a well. Need some kind of other item. You mean a crank? Well, if Capcom's going for the slow build-up of this game, they're certainly doing a good job of it. Oi! Oh, burn up. I changed my mind. Close it again. Okay, well. I guess we just want to leave that open. Add to the atmosphere. Don't enter. But, but I want to, though. But I wants to enter. Nah. Fine. There's gotta be another house I didn't explore or something. Or a giant fuck-off gate that I missed. Hate it when I miss giant fuck-off gates. What do you got? A pipe! What's this doing here? Uh, things? Currently it's rocking. Rocking and a rolling, wheeling and a dealing. I guess it's occupied. Okay. Like I said, I did play the demo, but I only played it once. And I don't think the demo starts at this spot. I think it starts a bit farther into the village. Attract it. Oh boy, go heads. What happened? Uh, one of the go heads went bah. And it, like, scared the shit out of someone. It was fucking hilarious. Just leave the pots outside, I suppose. Locked due to missing homeowner. Does that mean the key's in the house? Hi? Because I just need a really special key for that one, then. Oh, it is an outhouse. I thought it was like a compost heap or something. <laughs> I saw the red pot, thought someone in a nice, lovely, little red hat just snuck up on me. What's up? Knife, thank you. Kitchen knife. Okay. Did they just run out of a house? That doesn't seem like a possibility. Also, that shit kind of looked a little congealed. Curtains. No, no. Jesus! Friendly. Friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road. And... What's going on? I... <laughs> that is the face of a man who was fucked up. Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! Tell me what's out there. Hey, are you listening? 
listening? Hey! Oh shit. Sorry, man. What the? Can you drop the shotgun? Jesus! A lot of dead bodies. Wait, there's more. Ooh, that. Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say that one doesn't have a head, but no, he does. Oh, oh, oh geez. Sorry. Yep. Sorry. 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 How you doing, man? Oh, you're the one who just helped me. Jesus Christ. That's not Jesus Crystal. What the hell is wrong with this place? Huh. Ethan, you're in a Resident Evil game. There's a lot of things wrong with this place. Can, can I? I do. Hi. Dude, I need those. Oh, no, I don't want to skip. No. Stop that. Bad idea, just... Run. There we go. Oh, these guys can die? What the hell? I swear in the demo I shot one point blank with a fucking shotgun and it was just like, well that was a bit rude. Oh sweet, can fluid. Crafting. Okay, yeah. Got it. Crafter. Should have called it crafty. For that is what I am. Bolt cutters. Not what I came back here for, but neat. Where? Where? Oh, okay. They're pulling a uh, Resident Evil 4 style, I see. Where the key items are separate from shit like weapons and ammo. Okay. Fine with me, that makes my life a bit easier. Where's the body? Oh, good. Well, we're just gonna get right the fuck out of him. And I'll mourn the loss of my pinky at some other time. I know I'm probably supposed to go inside. Maybe not. It's inside. Nothing. Hang on, oh sweet. <laughs> Barricade doorways with shells. That is not going to last forever, though. Oh, shit. Hmm? 
chem fluid. Jesus! Where are you at? I, I actually don't know where he is. Not my best idea. Hmm. But lucky you bastard, I have lost a pinky. All right. You bit of a prick. Back the fuck off. Oh, nice. Headshots make a triumphant return. I'm gonna heal. There we go. Over. Can I get a new hand, please? Got it. Head this way. From the god damn it! Just when I think I go the right way, then I have to go fucking all the way back. Can I just? Wait, do I still have? No, I don't. Okay, I hear them off in the distance. I've been playing a lot of Resident Evil 6, so I'm used to, like, Square being the all-purpose button. Give me that. Damn it. Attack flower banks to create a diversion. I missed, I missed, I missed so, I missed so badly, though. Ah. Excuse me. Pardon me. Fuck this shit amount. Okay, well, that was just a bit uncalled for, sir. There's no end to them. That could be useful. Crystal skull. Neat. Open the door. Shit. Could you not? Ow. How's it going? Oh, that's death. 
I'm sorry? Huh. Ah, home sweet home. for a bit. Or two seconds. There we go. Okay, could you maybe like have them drop healing items or something? Oh, that's just not fair. Oh, hi. Am I dead? Is this death? Is this what death is like? No, apparently not. Hi! Am I dead now? There we go. Okay, I literally thought it was just a you for you are dead, and was like, you lazy sacks of shit. I would have been more pissed about that than the fact that I died. Okay, so this time let's not stand and fight, because that was a dumb fucking idea. On well, no point nine, they all know where I am, so... How's it going, dude? Excellent. There's no end to them. Break. Okay. Hello. I have no clue if this doorway or not. It's probably not. So, if you shoot them with a shotgun point blank, they fucking just die. Good to know. Ow. Sir? Sir. Rude. This is probably a bad idea. Okay, Ethan, stop taking your lovely fucking time. Like... Ouch! Restore that health! Ah, shit. Okay, this is not going well. And this is where I was before. F Felipe. Whoever's shooting the arrows, knock off the shit.
Well. Hey guys, this is awkward. Ah, sorry. How you guys going? Uh, it was a bit rude, okay, but, you know, fucking new neighbor, I guess. Oh, shut him out. <laughs> oh, that was incredibly awkward. I am sorry. <laughs> Hi. Am I dead? Why do you have horses? Nice to meet you. Hello. I didn't know this was a Bloodborne crossover. If I surrender, will you not kill me? So, literally are just pulling a Resident Evil 4. Here's a horde of enemies. Don't die. Just like new. Also, I thought I still had my ring finger. Were you just sitting there, watching me get fucking massacred? Not liking in this. Or not liking this? <laughs> it's a fucking pun. You. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. Just look at my hand. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose, yes. She is in great danger. Since I know. Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? Darkness. The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming. <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Rose is here? Well, she seems someone like someone who's fucking trustworthy. Except for the part where I couldn't trust her as far as I could throw her. Okay, this is definitely the part where the demo happened. Oh, great lichens, the fable monster, or wolves of old. May they come to eat our flesh, may they come to tear us apart. Oh, you fucking insane, though. Journals. I have journals. Diary. February 9th, dawn, some forest. Should have been a night like any other, but then Chris Redfield came in and destroyed our family. <clears throat> Took away Rose, shot Mia right in front of me. I was knocked out, and now I'm in some forest in the middle of nowhere. The hell is going on? February 9th, early morning, village square. I found a village just outside the forest, but one of the villagers was attacked and dragged off by some kind of beast. I managed to survive those creatures, and an old woman told me Rose is here, somewhere. I need to find her before those monsters get her, too. Okay. Don't know if there was a easy to pick lock. Okay, so I don't know if I'm coming back to areas later. 
Like, if I can freely go between... I know you go to the castle, so I don't know if you freely go between the village and the castle. Or if you're just, like, stuck here for a while. But I remember coming across that fucking lock in the demo and not having a lockpick. So, hopefully, I can find me a lockpick. And I can figure out what's in that goddamn drawer. Maiden of War. Oh yeah, that makes sense. It's locked from the other side. Can no one in this game fucking drive? Crank. That's where I'm supposed to go. Can I make anything? Oh, definitely make one of those and do some of that. Perfect. Ain't no monster a match for me now. I have 25 extra shots. What's this? We offer these goats of warding to protect the village and its people. Any who break them shall feel Mother Miranda's wrath. Okay, I don't know if those are like a collectible, kind of like the uh, Mr. Everywhere's in... Resident Evil 7, but if it's not, and it's literally a warning like, hey, don't break these, I will not break them. I'll figure that out in my own time. Okay, I'm gonna need things for that. Okay, let's head on into this house. Okay. Guess not. Maybe I'm misremembering the demo. It's a very distinct possibility. Castle Dimitrescu? I don't know how to pronounce your name. Ceremony site. Lock gate. Okay, let's head off to the castle then. Let's go meet the tall vampire lady that everyone lost their collective shit over. Oh, can't go that way yet. Okay, this way it is. Stronghold, mill, graveyard. Checks out. Hello. Should disaster fall upon the village? Seek out. I am not rotating it. Seek out the crest. One is in the care of the church, the other is at Luisa's house. Okay. Use type artist to save your progress. <gasps> it is Resident Evil. Well, you know, there's no ink. There probably is on like, higher difficulties, though. Cool, cool. Alright, you know, I think I'm actually going to leave this episode here. Weird place to stop, I know, but I don't want to like get too far in and then have to stop in the middle of something, so let's just end it right here. So, thank all of you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this ep first episode of Resident Evil Village. I am really looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to it since I played the demo. So, thank all of you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, I will see you all later on. Ciao.